Tonight, two men accused of beating a man to death with a tire iron are now charged in a similar attack. Police say the pair faces a new charge of attempted murder for a case right before that deadly beating. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller is live in the Tampa newsroom with details. Brittany? Stacey, good evening. Authorities have described this case as very heinous and very violent. Two suspects are behind bars in connection with beating two men with a tire iron, attempting to kill one and killing the other. Police say Jermaine Bennett and his accomplice Savon Morrison went on a violent crime spree in October. The pair filmed themselves damaging cars in St. Pete. Bennett and Morrison appeared back in court today facing a new charge of attempted murder in the first degree. St. Pete police say the two attacked a man with a tire iron while he was walking along 22nd Avenue North. Records show the victim was struck in the arm, chin and ribs. He survived the attack. An hour later, Bennett and Morrison drove to Clearwater where police say they beat 49-year-old Jeffrey Chapman to death with the same tire iron. It happened as Chapman was riding his bike home on Mandalay Avenue. Chapman's friends gathered for a celebration of life a month after his death. Bennett was charged with first-degree murder. Police say he admitted to hitting Chapman more than 10 times with a tire iron and showed no remorse for killing him. Morrison was also charged. Police shared a portion of their text, which which they say connect them to the crimes. Jail records show Bennett and Morrison are now both awaiting trial. Stacy. All right, Brittany, do police know if there's any connection between the victims and the suspects in this case? Stacy, St. Pete police say they are not aware of any prior connection. Brittany Muller live in the Tampa newsroom. Thank you.